What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to send dynamic HTML based emails to your users in your Node application. And this is really important when you want to streamline the sending of emails. Let's say you have multiple users and you want to send a really large template and you want to pretty much streamline this whole process by dynamically inserting values into that template depending on the user you're sending to or depending on the person or whatever. And this is just a great way to do it. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the code here and it'll make a lot more sense. And it's actually a very simple thing to do. So I have a very simple Node.js application set up here. I just ran npm init. And the only file we're working with today is my index.js file. And in fact, you only need three libraries to do this. First, you need Express because we're running an Express backend server. So those of you guys who have been working with backend and Node, you probably know what Express is by now. And the two things we're gonna focus on today is Node Mailer. So this is what we're gonna to use to send the email. And the most important thing here is Handlebars. This allows us to dynamically insert uh, HTML content or items into our HTML content, and it really enhances code organization and promotes reusability. So this is probably the most popular package you'll find online for doing this sort of thing. So the, the premise is we're gonna have an HTML template that's not in the actual code, and we're just gonna inject values into that and send that to the user. Okay, so you just want to pip install, or sorry, npm install these three packages here before we get started. And of course we have, you want to npm install this fs. Actually, I don't think, I think it's based in I think that comes with the standard packaging. You don't have to npm install that, but if you do, just npm install it. This is just for the file system, for getting the HTML file from our file system. And then the first thing we're doing here is I'm using Gmail, so I'm creating a transport object with Gmail. And what's important about Gmail is as of a, a certain time period, you actually have to use the app password to send emails. So if you want to create a transporter object using your Gmail account, the first thing you have to do is you want to go to your Gmail account here, so I already have my Gmail account, and you want just search app passwords. So just go myaccount.google.com, and then let's just go to app passwords there, and it's asking me for my password, so I'll just type it in real quick. And it's gonna allow me to generate, wait, an app password. So an app password is what's used now as opposed to your regular password, your regular password won't work, and we could just select whatever we want here and it's going to generate an app password so let's just copy that in i'll delete this later so you guys don't use it and let's just go back and insert that there and of course you just want to set your user email as well so that's what we, all we want to do in terms of our transporter object and i'm just creating an express server there and i'm initializing my ports and the reason i'm doing that is i'm just going to hit the base url and it's going to send an email so the HTML we're working with today is this big template here. And this is pretty nice because we can have a huge template where we have a bunch of styling. And this is something that's not, it's not something you want to put in your code because it is bad practice. You, you want to have those uh, separation of concerns. So you want to have the HTML in a separate file. And this handlebars package makes it really easy to do. And we have a dynamic variable in this file. So we're saying greetings username. So it's going to take a username and dynamically insert it into that. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you have a very large um, user base and you're sending emails all the time, this is a great way to do things, okay? So I just have this large template here with some styling, with some, with some content here, greetings, and some, you know, I'm, I'm pretending to send a welcome code. And that's all I'm doing to the user right now, sending them that. And how we do that is, what we're doing is we're loading the HTML from the file system and we're telling handlebars to simply compile that. And we're, we have this replacement object and we're saying the username is Shilla, which is uh, my last name. And then we just say template replacements. It's really as simple as that. So the package makes it really easy to do this and great separation of concerns there. So once we have that, and of course you can have all sorts of replacements you want. You can put other variables depending on your needs, but we're just doing something very simple here. And then we just send the email. So now that we did that, we just call the HTML to be the HTML to send, which is the template where we put the replacements in. And of course, from to, I'm just sending it to myself again, which is fine. And then we have the subject. Another thing we have here is the text. So this text isn't really gonna do anything for Gmail if we're sending it to Gmail accounts, but really it's good to have a text object in your emails that replicates the HTML in some way because there's, there's some email clients that can't read HTML, believe it or not. So it's just good practice to have that text in there. 
And of course, uh, some spam softwares look for this text property as well, I believe. So that's another good reason to have that text property. But the main property here is this HTML to send, which we define. And then we just send the email. It's really as simple as that. So this package makes it really nice. I'm just going to show you how it works here. So let's just go back to the, the browser and type in localhost 5000. And it's going to, oh, I don't think I ran the, uh, let's go back here. I got to run the server. What am I doing? Okay, so we have to run the server. So let's go back, localhost 3005. And we have this res.send just to show me here that it sent the email. So it looks like it sent the email. And let's go back here and let's refresh this. We should have gone. Okay, great. So you can see we have a nice email that has a bunch of HTML uh, attached to it. And we made it really easy and we really cleaned the code and we could see it has Shilla there, which is exactly what we want. And of course you can get much more complicated than this, but that is the premise of templating with NodeMailer. It's very simple. So I hope you guys learned something in this video and you should be good to go on and create your own templates after watching this. If you learned something in this YouTube video, please consider like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. Stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching and until next time.